Hello, my name is Donja and I'm with Senex Law and today we're going to talk about amending claims. What does that mean and when should you do that? Amending claims is adding additional rent to what you've asked for on an unlawful detainer here in Virginia. So let's say, for example, your resident didn't pay January's rent. On January 1st, they owed you rent. On January 6th, you sent them a late notice and said you didn't pay your rent. And then somewhere in the middle of the month, around January 15th, you filed an unlawful detainer for January's rent. Well, when you file an unlawful detainer, at least 21 days has to pass between the time that you serve the resident and the time that they have to appear in court. So let's say that January uh, unlawful detainer sets your court date for February 17th. Well, during the time that you're waiting for court, February rolls around and your resident fails to pay you February's rent and now owes you February's rent and late fees plus January's rent and late fees. You're going to amend your claim and add February to January. So when you go to court on February 17th, you ask for the entire balance that they owe as of the court date. Where I think it gets a little confusing for property managers because we tend to think of each month independently and close our books on January, close our books on February, is when the scenario happens, they're late in January, you file an unlawful detainer, court is February 17th, and then they pay January's rent in January. And some of us sometimes, especially new property managers or people from other states, or people just getting used to amending, think, oh, they paid their balance. I need to dismiss the unlawful detainer or non-suit the unlawful detainer. That is not what you need to do at that point in time. You just need to sit back and relax and wait and see what happens because you can amend the claim and include February's rent even if they pay January. So you're going to chill out until February's rent and late fee are due and if they pay you that then you'll dismiss the unlawful detainer but if they fail to pay you february's rent you're going to go to court for february even though you filed that unlawful detainer back in january i hope that helps you understand amending claims here in virginia um, my name is donja and i'm with sanix law